Hello all, welcome to the channel. So, we have been talking about high speed designs uh, uh, in a series of videos, right? So, in this video, we will talk about uh, the dielectric constant and its importance uh, in high speed designs. So, before going to dielectric constant, we will talk about capacitor. Wow. So, we are saying about dielectric constant and we have switched to capacitor. Interesting, right? So, for a beginner, this looks uh, uh, something uh, uh, like uh, a very uh, <clears throat> unconnected uh, topic, we can say. Uh, but if you understand uh, uh, the capacitor uh, functionality uh, and uh, its construction, you can correlate the same with the PCB. We will see how it is. So, if you see a capacitor, basically we have two conducting plates which are separated by an insulating material, right? This insulating material is basically characterized by the delta constant, right? So, uh, the, uh, the type of uh, uh, <coughs> insulating material, whether A, Mica, whatever we say, uh, are all uh, um, having some delta constant and higher the delta constant of that particular uh, uh, insulating material more the capacitance. So, this uh, can be simply understood uh, uh, by this formula C is equal to epsilon A by D. So, epsilon is basically relative permittivity uh, and this uh, uh, basically is the delta constant of the insulating material that is used and A is the area of the plate and D is the distance between the plates. So, the, the capacitance, when you are saying here, is uh, directly proportional to the delta constant. So, higher the delta constant we are trying to uh, have, more the capacitance uh, um, of that particular capacitor, right? So, if we come to the PCB, PCB structure also is similar, right? PCB has uh, uh, a conducting layer uh, and uh, and then it will have a dielectric and then again it will have a conducting layer, dielectric conduct. So, the PCB is structured that way, in such a way that um, the conducting layers are basically separated by dielectric material and similar to how we talk about an uh, insulating uh, material uh, in <coughs> capacitors, um, the, uh, the insulating material um, which is used as a dielectric in PCB also has uh, its dielectric constant uh, and this dielectric constant plays a very 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 crucial role. So before going into oh, how uh, and uh, uh, what dielectric constant to use uh, uh, on a PCB, let us understand the main aim of these uh, <coughs> communication channels. So basically why we are saying communication channel is uh, uh, Every uh, on a PCB, ultimately there will be a driver, there will be a receiver as we have been talking in previous videos and then there is a communication channel between the driver and the receiver, right? So, the main aim of this uh, channel is that there is very minimal signal loss associated with it. Ultimately, you send uh, a very low frequency signal, example, a 1 kilo edge kind of signal or if you send a 1 giga edge kind of signal or some uh, RF frequencies, uh, ultimately the thing is the signal should not get lost. Signal uh, should be received properly at the receiver. The loss that comes with the signal must be very, very less. So that's the ultimate aim of any communication channel. So for that, uh, you need to have a PCB structure such that it fits into uh, whatever the uh, kind of application you are using. So that's where the dielectric constant plays a role. Yeah. So yeah. the dielectric constant yeah. that is there, uh, which uh, basically is uh, the property of uh, the insulating material, the laminate that is used, um, this dielectric constant 
shall have some losses so the losses associated with this uh, dielectric uh, with this dielectric material determines the performance of the pcb so these dielectric losses which we are talking are proportional uh, to the frequency of signal that is passing through the pcb so that means for a given uh, dielectric uh, for a given dielectric constant uh, a given dielectric uh, um, constant, um, if uh, we are going to pass high frequencies, that means uh, the frequency of the signal that is passed through a channel is increasing, uh, the dielectric losses are also going to increase. So that's, uh, um, we can say, <coughs> the uh, proportionality that we see. Now, considering that we have wide range of uh, PCBs that are used, in use right right now we are talking about high speed designs but we also have uh, a, a microcontroller based designs or a simple control circuitry um, where you have a very low frequencies there uh, generally we use a fr4 pcb which uh, has a delta constant around four and there as the frequencies are lesser the delta losses associated are also lesser but as we go to higher frequencies, uh, like uh, the high-speed designs which uh, we have been talking about, definitely we need a low loss material. So that determines uh, the performance and uh, also helps for the signal uh, to have a very uh, low loss. So <clears throat> ultimately considering this scenario, uh, as we want uh, a low loss material, that meant we need a low uh, delta constant material. So this is one of the primary reason why if uh, you are new to a high speed designs, uh, there are two things uh, um, with respect to PCB material. The first thing is uh, uh, the delta constant that you consider. And second thing is the loss tangent is another parameter which we consider. So we will talk about loss tangent in uh, another video. The first thing, we'll see is the delta constant. So if you have a low frequency um, <coughs> requirement, of, uh, circuit design requirement, you can use normal FR4 PCB, but if you have a high speed design uh, requirement, you need to have a delta uh, materials um, which have low delta constants as that you eliminate the delta losses associated at those frequencies. And there are several manufacturers available uh, where you can select the um, deltric uh, <coughs> material from those manufacturers. So ultimately, for a PCB layout engineer or design engineer, all these form a part of the stack up. And uh, it is important that we examine the stack up clearly and understand um, the losses associated with the stack up uh, that kind of material that is used, the spacing between the conducting plates that is used, all these uh, uh, play a significant role. Hope we gave a glimpse of uh, uh, how the deltric constant is playing a role here. Please let us know if you have any questions. Please post your comments on the video. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.